Hey guys, um, what's up? Um, I'm a little disheveled from this day. This just hit, this haircut just isn't working for me. Um, my friend Rue is gonna cut my hair next week. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, I think the, I think a shag is for me. I need a shag. I can't do blunt haircuts anymore. I just can't go back to it. Anyway, I guess we're dealing with it. It's cute, it's fine been feeling kind of tired the past week and a little bit fuzzy in my brain so I'm excited this weekend because I'm going out to my friend Rebecca's cabin and I'm excited to see some friends I haven't seen for a while because of COVID. Yeah I feel like COVID really mixed up a bunch of friend groups but it's been nice to see what has endured and what's come out of it. I had a phone call today with a new friend, shouts out Jonah. It was nice to meet a new person. Over COVID, there's been more of like having video calls with new friends who don't live in the same city or even the same country as me. And it's like, it's nice. It's been a good time for making international friends that you can kind of always look forward to maybe one day meeting, you know? Anyway, that's enough video for this freaking intro. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. Thank you so much. And I'll see you around. I'll see you in the rest of the video. Enjoy the rest of the... Enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> Dear mom and dad, I'm doing fine You guys are on my mind You asked me what I wanted to be Now I think it's plain to see I wanna be famous I wanna live close to the sun Go pack your beds cause I've already won Everything to prove, nothing in my way I'll get there one day Cause I, I wanna down. be nice famous Na 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 I wanna be famous I wanna be I wanna be I wanna be famous I wanna be I wanna be I wanna be famous Okay <laughs> Whoa. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, Nick will probably Great work, Khalil. Oh. <laughs> I'm not checking my Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my ant form. I used to have an We all so disheveled at this point. Aww. Yeah. Bug boy. A bug boy. I'm a bug girl or a bug boy. So bad. Yeah. Mom, look what I found. <laughs> look. <laughs> he said, where's Tiana? <laughs> Thank you.
No, the bang is. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Are you ready? Are we ready? Yep. Do your thing. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Nice. <laughs> Whoa, 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 you're like kind of close. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? Where did your hair go? That's so fucking weird. Wait, but actually, where did your hair go? It's actually gone. That's really weird. <laughs> That's so weird. Wait. I have less hair. What? Yeah, guys, I got a haircut. <clears throat> I got a haircut. <clears throat> My friend Rue uh, cut it. Thank you, Rue. Thank you very much. You did an amazing job. <laughs> I got a cut. Whoa, I have dropped something. I got a cut last night. And um, it was kind of shorter than I expected. And so I kind of, I got it cut, and then all I could do was, like, touch it, like, for the next couple hours. We we went out after, and for the next couple hours, I could only really feel it, and it, like, felt really short. And, like, it is really short. And I, but I was like, oh my gosh, I was kind of freaking out for some reason. Even though, prior to getting it cut, I was like, I've had ho short hair before. I don't care what happens to my hair. You know? Whatever. And anything goes wrong, you just shave it off. The thing is, I've been identifying with long hair more and more lately. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know why. But, um, so last night, for like a few hours, <laughs> like, like after, when we were on our way home, I started actually freaking out a little bit. I was like, oh my effing god, my hair is short, and like it's gonna be short for a while. And I was freaking out, because I thought, I thought I, I don't know, it's insulting to Rue that I thought I looked bad. And it wasn't any doubt in their abilities, it was mostly a doubt in my abilities to be beautiful enough to show off this much of my face 24-7. And not have, like, hair to be able to just, like, hide myself. Which is sad. Um, <laughs> so, I had, like... Like, I hadn't felt that panicked. Like, on my drive home when I was by myself, I actually was panicking. Like, I was actually panicked. Like, I've had anxiety throughout my life, but, like, there are moments in your life where you're like, oh, this is what real panic feels like. So I had that for some reason, because simultaneously I was like, why am I so freaked out about this? Like, it looks good. Like, what's wrong? Like, what's wrong? And, like, on the way home, I still hadn't really, like, had time with it. I, like, you know, looking in the mirror for a minute, taking some, you know, selfies, being like, okay, this is the new me, I understand. I understand what's happening. But I didn't know what was going on, and for some reason my brain was obsessed with whatever could be the worst turnout of whatever is happening. I don't know. I got really panicked about it, and then it just kind of spiraled into this it spiraled into this kind of like irrational thing where I wasn't even thinking thoughts anymore. It was just pure panic in my brain. I was like touching my hair. I was like, I don't know who this person is. <laughs> but um, anyways, I was like, let's just fucking go with the fuck to sleep. Oh, actually. And something happened on the drive home. <laughs> oh, something happened on the drive home. Yeah. Somebody rear-ended me. So that was really cool. That was really great. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it was more of like a love tap, you know, um, they re me. And then, after you get re so I get re and I feel it, and I'm like, oh, so that's what it feels like for someone to hit you from behind, I get it, I feel it, I understand. And I was fine, my neck was fine, everything was fine, I was like, okay, great. But then I was like, fuck, um, because actually, a few weeks ago, <laughs> you know, karma, I actually rear ended someone myself in a similar manner. Um, so I did that um, a few weeks ago, and I pulled over. Mm -hmm. 
you know, I pulled over, we exchanged information, we did the whole thing. But, uh, and I was like, you know, maybe I feel like this guy might have the same decency. But I'm starting to pull over, and I'm noticing this guy is going the other way. And I'm like, okay. Okay, I'm getting the vibe that you're not going to be pulling over. I'm just getting that vibe. So I'm like, I'm like kind of pulling out my phone, I'm like, I'm going to try to get his license. But, like, I was trying to get his plate, but then I was, like, freaking out. My, I was already in a panic. I was like, dude, you're really going to do this, do this to me right now, and I'm already... Like, had I just been in my regular mind, I would have, like, been able to pull out my phone, take a picture of the rear view mirror, whatever. No. No, 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 I, could, I couldn't do that. And it's, it's fine. Like, at least the damage wasn't that bad. But anyway, that whole thing happened. And then I was, like, extra freaking out. I kept driving. I was, like, extra freaking out. I was, like, are you fucking kidding me? So I had to go and I pulled over for a minute. And I was, like, are you freaking kidding me? And I checked out the damage. It wasn't that bad. Just a couple dents on the back. You know, nothing that puts me out of commission. But it's, um... But you know it's like a thousand dollars at least to fix and you're like, okay. Okay, great. Okay. Great. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Cool. Awesome. Great. Anyway. I make the rest of the drive home and I'm the whole time I'm like literally panicking. Not in any way that I couldn't drive, just in a way that, I mean I you know. I don't know, I was I was, um, I was frustrated. I get home, and I go downstairs and tell my dad all about how I'm panicking. Not before looking at my hair. I went, I went upstairs and I looked at my hair in the mirror and I was like, it looks good. Okay, it looks good. Shut the fuck up, brain. Shut up. It looks good. Anyway, and then I go downstairs and I tell my dad, I'm like, what the heck? Somebody rear-ended me. You wouldn't believe this. Karma's real. And then I continue to freak out, <laughs> but I'm like, Tiana, and like, the thing is we had just gone swimming in a lake, like my hair was not at its best either, like it was just, it was hat hair, I had been wearing a ball cap, like it was not in the best state for judging, especially in the state that I was already in. So, okay, so I'm like, okay, Tiana, shut the fuck up, okay, go to bed, sleep it off. Okay, sleep it off. Have a shower in the morning. Finesse it in the morning. Do your thing. Um, so, yeah, I go to bed. And the whole night, my mind's just in, like, panic mode. I'm like, how is this? How did this happen? I didn't think I had that kind of relationship with my hair. And um, <laughs> so I woke up. I was still in kind of a weird panicky mode. I was like, is this ever going to end? Um... Anyway, I go and I have a shower, I dress up, I put my makeup on, okay, okay, and, and I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling better now, so, crisis inverted. <laughs> and I actually really like this hair, and like, looking back at my other hairstyle too, it's like, what did you have to lose? Like, it was just a bob, like, I don't, what do you have to lose? And I think also, the majority of my concern was like, it didn't feel like a super conventional haircut. It is like a pretty normal haircut, really. It, like, it kind of just looks like a pixie, even though it is kind of like a mullet shag kind of thing. But so I was like, I just got a new job, and I had a, I had a, like, a video call with my new boss today, and I was like, oh god, are they going to comment on my hair and be like, that's not up to standard. And like, no, they're not. Like, they're fine. Like, it's not really a prestigious position or anything. It's like, you're fine. Okay. Anyway, so everything went fine, and I've just kind of been feeling myself, you know, allow allowing myself to take selfies and whatnot on this day to... I forget what the word is. To christen this new haircut. And, yeah, like, I'm feeling it. Like, I'm enjoying it. Like, I mean, I hate the side of my face in general, but, um, yeah. I don't know. Do I think I'll see an experienced professional next time? Yeah, I, th I think my hair deserves a little treat at this point. You yeah. know. Rue did an amazing job considering the haircut that they went for and that I encouraged. But, um, yeah, once it grows out, I think, you know, it's 
my hair has been through a lot with with my skills and with Rue's skills. And I think next time it just needs like a really calculated professional to go in and really work some magic. So I'm excited for that at some point, but I do I do really enjoy this. And I feel like Emma I'm giving Emma Watson with her pixie cut. I'm giving Julie from Julie and Julia. You know? So I'm enjoying that. That's what I'm kind of going for. And like it's fun to have short hair, like you can do a lot with it. Like I could like whoosh it all back. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be doing that. But um every everything's good now. Everything's great. Start a new job in a couple weeks. Pretty excited about that. Um I think it'll be nice. I'm supposed to go to a winery with my parents this evening. So life is good. Life is good. My bangs are a little funny, but life is good. See ya. <laughs>